So I have two letters to read, and then we are finished the service. So let me give you the logistics announcement. Those of you who checked your coats and belongings upstairs, you can find them at the reception area. Anyone know where the reception area is? <laughs> 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 right down right When we are finished, we go outside, and there are food, drink, entertainment for a little while. Those of you that are going to the private dinner, you can at approximately 4.30 go across the street to the inner pen to the ballroom area, where you will find food, drink, <laughs> entertainment, and then dinner. First letter is from Ray Stafford. I so much regret I am unable to attend the celebration of Russ's life. I am an Indian. Of all the people I've met and all the books I've ever read, Russ had the most profound influence on my thinking and my worldview. As an individualist who values freedom and self-reliance, I always believe you could never do better organizationally than the sum of the parts, with each part contributing to the fullest. Thus, I structure organizations and responsibilities to give as much freedom and autonomy at every level as possible. There was no reason to question these beliefs since our company grew and prospered for 20 years. Then I met Russ, and I read his books, which completely changed my understanding about how performance of organizations, satisfaction, and productivity have to work collectively towards common objectives. His influence was not just on structure and process, but in helping me to see the world in terms of messes, not problems, to understand the continuum of interactions of which we are all part. The beauty of Russ's thinking and writing rests in his broad, deep understanding of philosophy, the essence and implications of different systems of thought. Russ was not just one of the foremost managing thinkers, he was a great philosopher. <coughs> he tied it all together in an integrated system that answered fundamental questions, things we face as people and societies. He applied his framework of thinking to conceptually unique solutions to many complex challenges. He addressed education, healthcare, poverty. He was committed to improving the fortunes of poor urban communities. He invested not only his intellect, but his time. He wanted things to work in practice. Less known is that Russ had a scholarly understanding of both psychology and other areas, and he developed concepts to explain why people behave as they do. He applied his work not only to personality, but to groundbreaking insights in advertising strategy. Wherever he turned his intellect, he was able to see further and deeper than had been seen before. He was brilliant. He was a systematic thinker. He continued to be an inspiration for me to make me better understand the purpose of my own life, how to achieve it. He was crusty. He had an unforgiving facade, but a deep, warm being. He was my mentor. He was my friend. I dearly loved him, and I will miss him so much. Ray Stapp, Chairman of the Board of Directors, Analog Devices. And finally, because I'm in the School of Arts and Sciences. I read a message from my dean. <coughs> I'm so very sorry I cannot be with you today as you celebrate the extraordinary life of Russ Adolf. But I want to express my condolences on behalf of the entire School of Arts and Sciences community to this remarkable scholar, teacher, colleague, and friend. The School of Arts and Sciences was a set of bookends to Russ. He did his doctoral training in our school, in the philosophy of science, and then he returned late in his middle 80s as a highly respected, distinguished professor and mentor in the Organizational Dynamics program. But in the decades in between, the spirit of the liberal arts guided and inspired so much of his illustrious career. <coughs> he's thought as a Renaissance man. His approach to the study of organizations and social systems drew on the full span of social systems, social sciences, <laughs> other integrated fields. His ability to employ a variety of disciplinary lenses allowed him to challenge, make models, 
things that the School of Arts and Sciences, and indeed the entire University of Pennsylvania, aspire to achieve in the advancement of knowledge. In his final years, Russ donated his personal and professional library to organizational dynamics. This is not simply a tangible resource for students and scholars. It's a reminder of everything Russ stood for, his love of learning, his desire to share. We honor him today as a distinguished measure, member of the School of Arts and Sciences, <coughs> of the other schools, of Penn, one who we greatly miss, but who leaves a lasting legacy. We hope one, we expect one, that will endure for many years to come. Rebecca Bushnell, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. Thank you very much.